Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ali if you're new here and don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already. But welcome to my everyday makeup routine. I wanted to share with you guys what I do on a daily basis, whether I'm like filming or taking pictures for Instagram. Um, I don't really wear this to work because I work at home, but if I did have to go into work, this is the makeup I would be doing. Um, I'm definitely no pro. Makeup is not my forte, but I just wanted to share with you guys a few new products that I've been loving and how I put this look together. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video and let's get started. I'm just going to start by clipping my hair back. Um, I really hope this lighting's okay because it's like 7.30 in the morning and the sun isn't out. And I have one ring light that is like okay quality. So I've already like prepped and primed, um, not primed. I've washed my face, put moisturizer on. I don't really use a primer just because I've never honestly felt like they do much and I haven't found one I love. So if you have any recommendations, let me know. So I just go ahead and I start with my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Radiance Drops. They look like this, and I will have everything um, linked down below. Macy, I'm nervous you're going to knock the camera. Can you get down? I shake them up before because it's quite watery, and then I just use the dropper, and I just drop a few drops, like, on the highlights of my face, like where you put normal highlighter. And maybe a little at the top. It's so runny, as you can see. Um, and then I take my beauty blender, which is there. And I just blend this out and this will show through um, a little bit through my foundation. I don't know if you can tell, but I look like quite shiny at the moment, but it's all part of the process. And then so the foundation I'm going to be starting with today and I've used it um, for the past couple weeks is the ColourPop Pretty fresh foundation looks like this it is in the color light uh, 7w and I just put it onto my finger and I just dot it and really spread it out all over my face and I dot foundation um, on my neck because um, I just like to have that seamless blend Okay, I think that's enough. And then I'll just blend this out. I hope the camera's like picking up that underglow of the Tarte Radiance Drops. You can like kind of see it how like glowy it is and then the next thing i go in with is my becca under eye brightening corrector and i don't know maybe it's just like me getting older or maybe i'm more tired but i feel like i've been noticing the dark circles under my eyes so much more um it honestly probably comes from me like filming youtubes more often like i look at myself in the camera and I can like see the lines and like the darkness under my eyes. Um, so I have this product here that you put on before you put on your concealer. Um, I think I've talked about this in the vlog before, but you just put it under your eyes like it's a concealer, but it's supposed to be a color corrector for those dark circles. So it's like really bright under my eyes, but that's good. So then next I go in with concealer and I've been kind of been using like a combination of the NARS Creamy Concealer in shade Light 2.3 and then uh, Tarte Shape Tape in Fair um, 12S. So I use the light, light one. This one's really light. The Tarte one's super, super light, but it has really nice coverage. I put a little there on the outer ends and then the same on the other eye and then my NARS is definitely a darker color so I just sort of like mix them together which is like kind of weird but I kind of just put it beside so it doesn't like ruin the actual product if that makes sense and 
Um, then I just blend that out with my beauty blender. I was reading something lately about like how gross beauty blenders are and like how you should be changing them every month, which I don't do. I think I've had this beauty blender for like multiple years, to be honest, but I think I want to replace all my makeup brushes and my beauty blenders because I don't really have any nice ones. So my under eyes are done and my new product that I've only been trying for the last few or like the last month I would say is this MAC um, Medium Mineralized Skin Finish Natural Powder. If I can open it. Um, it looks like this and what this is supposed to do is I don't use... Um, the loose uh, translucent setting powder whatever it's called um so my sister told me to get a mineralized finishing powder and so i just take this like little like fluffy brush and i just like lightly dab it all over my skin so it's not a setting powder so you don't have to like let it sit there and cake up um it's just supposed to be like a finishing powder and it's supposed to give like a really like seamless look over all your makeup and then you can put like a little more under your eyes to like set that concealer if you prefer but that is what that looks like and I feel like it just gives it like a fresh sort of finish to the foundation next I have my one true love this is like so dirty I don't even want to show you the product um I just use it every day it's the so gross the um nude stick I like to get the right names for you because I would hate to like search for these. Okay, so it's the Nude Stick Bondi Bay Matte um, Cream Bronzer Stick by Nude Stick. I think I said that. Um, one end has the cream bronzer. The other end has a brush. I actually don't really use the brush. I don't love the brush. But I take the cream bronzer and I just, again, put it anywhere. I need to like bronze slash contour. So cheekbones are a must. Forehead. Nose. And then the, I just do the sides of my jawline. Like that. And then again with the beauty blender. Um, you could use a brush, you could probably use anything, but I just use my beauty blender for everything. I just go in and blend it all out. Make sure for um, the bronzer for your forehead, you like really push it back because you don't want that like bronzer hairline look. So my next step and the way I do it, just because it works best for me, is to like take my powder bronzer and just do like a quick little one over and sort of like set the cream bronzer. But I like this powder bronzer I have, which is the MAC bronzing powder. Looks like that um, in the shade. Oh, completely worn off. Um, oh, refined golden. And then I just highlight wherever I put the cream bronzer and I just don't want put too much because I don't want it to be like too crazy. So for blush, I'm using the Glossier um, Cloud Paint in um, the shade Spark. And you have to be like so careful with this because the pigment of this is insane. And so I've accidentally put too much on and I look like like a full tomato because it just went crazy. So I put I'd say like two or three drops on each side, like not a lot. Um, one on my nose and then like, you know, like the sunburnt look where the sun would hit you is kind of and like I still have so much on my finger that I don't want to use because like I said, it's just so pigmented. Back with my beauty blender. And we're just gonna like, like see how aggressive that is already. I just like keep dabbing and like rotating the beauty blender because I don't want to have too much product. Wow. 
we'll have a little burnt nose, a little burnt forehead. Okay, so that's the blush. I hope this camera is like picking up nicely. Um, so I'm pretty much done my like face um, products. So now we're gonna go into eyebrows, which my eyebrows I swear just have a mind of their own. But I'm just gonna quickly brush them with like one of these spoolies I have. Okay, so for my brows, I'm using my Urban Decay Brow Blade. Um, so the first up with the pencil, I'm just gonna outline the bottom with the pencils. I need to see the mirror closely for this one. And I'm just gonna fill in the bottom where like it's like sparse there. And then sort of like pull my brow out a bit. And then I just clean up my finger, whatever went too far. Okay, and then with the wispy end, I just like bake some hairs throughout the whole thing wherever I feel my eyebrows aren't full enough. So with this eyebrow, um, I feel like my eyebrows like don't grow at the top here sort of. And they could be like fuller so that's normally where I fill them out. And then I also like to have like a really clean um, like front part here, whatever you call it. So it's like straight and like nicely shaped. So I'll just add a few like faux hairs in with this. And then I'll just brush them through one more time to like soften the product. And my last brow product is my Glossier Boy Brow in the shade Brown. And I like, it comes with quite a bit of product when you like pull it out. So I just kind of like scrape it off because I don't want too much. And then I just stick them straight up basically because that's the look I like and it is like the boy brow so that's the effect uh, this product will give you so now onto my eyes I I truly don't do a lot for my eyes um I don't really wear eyeshadow I do a tiny bit of like shadow liner and then curl my lashes and put mascara on um but i'll just quickly show you um like the most i would ever do with this look so i go back with my bronzer and i just take like any eyeshadow brush and then i just like give my eyelid some definition by putting some bronzer in there and then just buff it out literally nothing crazy like that's it kind of you can pull a little bit below too and do the other one. And then my favorite part is the winged eyeliner that I've been trying to perfect for like two months. Oh, um, for like two months now. So I use my one and only Kylie Cosmetic Palette because I honestly really like the products. Is there like a dot on my forehead? I can like see it in the reflection. Um... So I take my Kali Cosmetic um, palette. This is like the OG. I got it in like, when she like first came out with it, I was obsessed with it. Um, so I take my, see that brush? Like a really thin flat top brush. And I take the brown and the black because I find black's too harsh, but brown's not harsh enough. And I just like go like this literally back and forth and get product of the black and brown on both. And then I just, Tap it off. Okay, this is the fun part. I'll try to come close as I can. But all I do is I use the brush as like my indicator of like making the line. So I don't really like make the line myself. The like flat end of the brush does it, if that makes sense. So I just follow the line of my lower lash line up. And I just like dab it a bit so you can like see the tiny little line and then I just like Connect it to the top. This is so hard to talk into And 
and then I can like pull it out a little more if I want and then I just fill it in like that that's literally all I do and if you feel like this is too harsh for you um I know people will take a um, eyeshadow brush after and then just like blend it out slightly but I don't mind that so that's all I do and I'm gonna do the other side so I'm done the wing and then the only other thing I'll do is just with the excess product just sort of like put a little in my lower lash line but that is it for the eyeliner now I'm just gonna curl my lashes and take my L'Oreal telescopic mascara and apply a few coats I'm just gonna rub off the um, like excess okay and my lips are last but not least and I'm gonna be starting with my lip liner. So I am using the NYX lip liner. It's the Slide On Glide. Nope, that's not what it's called. Oh yeah, that is what it's called. It is the Slide On Glide On Stay On and definitely a turn on waterproof extreme color lip liner. Um, in shade SLLP14. A nude suede shoes is the name <laughs> that's quite a name um but it looks like this just like a little lip liner um but I don't really like overline or anything I just kind of like enhance my like natural lip line and that's pretty much it so this is like one side with it done and like this side isn't do so you can, like kind of see the difference So that's it very like naturally lined that's literally all I do just to kind of like bring a little more color around my lips um, but then I go in with and don't worry I didn't like mess up there that's just a little blemish so then I go in with my Mac politely pink um, I love Mac's lipsticks they're so nice and I just put a little bit on the top and bottom But I'm not a huge lipstick person. Um, I do like the look of this. It's like very natural. But um, what I put over top, and then this is what I'll apply throughout the day. Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty, whatever it's called. It's um, her Silk Balm, and it is so nice. It's like this really glossy, shimmery, and I just lay this over top. And that is my lips and this is the final look I hope you guys enjoyed my everyday makeup routine all the products will be linked below and I will see you in my next video bye